Well, good morning, everyone. This is May 3rd, 2024, and this is your brother Kareem here in Tuskegee, Alabama. And today I'm going to show you how we propagate sweet potatoes. Ah, so let's get to it. I'm starting out with one of the George Washington Carver Golden Nugget sweet potatoes. Now he grew many types of sweet potatoes, but this one is a really good one. And I got the uh, potatoes from a longtime grower here in Tuskegee named Clinton Boyd. And he's a good grower. He knows his potatoes. And he gave me a bunch of these golden nugget sweet potatoes last year. And I ate good, good, good with them. But I saved one. And this one, I'm going to show you how I'm going to keep it going and have sweet potatoes later this year off of this one sweet potato here. So let's get to it. First thing I did was I put this sweet potato in some water in a little plastic tub and I had it in the window for about, oh, almost two months now when it was cold. It was inside the kitchen, in that kitchen window right back there. Then when it got warm like it is now, I put it outside on the porch and let her continue to grow. I just gave her a little water every time she finished uh, drinking water. And eventually, you see what happens? See those roots? Sweet potato roots. That's what happened. It rooted, and now she's got vines all over the place. Now, back when I lived in D.C., in Washington, D.C., my grandmother, used to grow sweet potatoes, vines on her counter in the kitchen every year. Now, she never took them and put them in the ground for sweet potatoes, but it made a beautiful plant. Isn't this a beautiful plant? Nice purple and, and green. Oh, man, I mean, makes your home look wonderful. And that's just any kind of sweet potato. But we're working with the Tuskegee, Tuskegee sweet potato, and I'm going to show you how to keep them going. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to Close to the source, I'm going to clip with a pair of Swiss scissors. I'm going to clip off some of these sweet potato vines. This one's giving me a little trouble this morning, but that's all right. I got it. I got it going. There you go. All right. So there's the sweet potato vine right there. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at look how long that vine is. See that? And I cut it off right at the tip. And now what I'm gonna do with that tip is, I'm gonna dampen a, a uh, piece of uh, a paper towel. I'm gonna dampen it. And then I'm gonna wrap that cut up in the, in the wet paper towel. And in two days, about two days, we're going to find little white roots all over that bottom of that sweet potato where I cut it off. And I'm going to do that to every one of these sweet potato bottoms. Now I was using a I was using a pair of scissors, but I think I'm going to try and get a little closer with the knife. Okay. Yeah, that's cutting a little better. Okay, there's another one. Ah, look at that. Look at that. There's another one. I'm gonna put that in the in the uh, paper towel. There's a nice one here. Another nice one. And I'm cutting this very close to the potato, right? There's another one. Put that one in the vine. Couple more in the vine. Couple more. One more. Okay, so that's all of them. See there? And I'm going to dampen this with a little water. 
Yeah, for that. Wrap them up. Cover them up. And in two days, I'll have roots. On the bottom of this, I'll have roots. And when those roots start to show, I'll put them in the ground. And in about three months, we're going to have new golden nugget sweet potatoes. Twice, three times, maybe, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 of them. I don't know. There'll be plenty. But that's how we do it. And it's easy to do. You can do it too. All you have to do is just get out there and grow your own food. This is your brother, Kareem, signing off.